We're in the 50s now, pretty much in all areas. Tonight, as I mentioned, won't be as chilly as the last couple. About 53 for Boston. Most of our suburbs will be closer to 50. Still some 40s around here and there, but no 30s this time overnight tonight. As far as tomorrow is concerned, about a 78 in Boston. Now, with that wind coming from the south southwest, that is off the water for the Cape, especially Nantucket. So a little cooler there, but otherwise, as I mentioned, 75 to 80. But look, could even be a couple of spots around the Merrimack Valley that could even exceed 80 degrees. But on average, I'd say the high be about 78. All right, we do have a front lined up here well to our north, and so a little strip of showers developing with that. So it'll drop southeast and late tomorrow night and on Thursday morning, if these showers were to survive, they could reach us. But I think the front's going to kind of run out of gas. And so I'm not really expecting much in the way of showers out of that. What's left of the front, though, will kind of hang around our area on Friday. So we could get a couple of showers then. Here's a closer look at approaching but falling apart showers for Thursday morning, but also the idea that a couple could get in here on Friday morning. So that's kind of the overview as to how it looks. Now, as far as humidity is concerned, still pretty uh, pleasant for tomorrow. A little bit more humid on Thursday, a drop less humid on Friday, a little more humid Saturday. But by Sunday and Monday of next week, it could be kind of uncomfortable even into October with another round of higher humidity. Pollen count, because we're in ragweed season still, uh, is kind of in the low to medium range. So it's not as bad as it was earlier in the season, but we kind of need a killing frost to eliminate it altogether. Hot stuff for the Red Sox first game of the playoffs in Houston, about 88 degrees, 4.08 p.m. First pitch estimate on Thursday. Patriots, meanwhile, will be at Tampa, and there it'll be rather humid, as you'd expect, around 80 degrees. That is Thursday evening with a risk of a downpour or two. All right, check out the next seven days. Temperatures stay above average for the most part. And look at that. We could be back in the 70s during the course of the weekend as Saturday afternoon through Monday will be rather humid. Can't rule out a spot shower uh, or thunderstorm during the weekend, but I don't see like all day rainouts or anything. And early next week is a chance for some tropical moisture riding up the coast at that time. But overall, next couple of days, I give it an A plus even before it's happened.